Well, we're back for another benchmark test from Antutu. This one we are putting head to head the Note 8 against the iPhone 7 Plus. Both of these phones are the biggest phone offered at the time from both uh, Apple with the iPhone 7 Plus coming in at 5.5 inches and the biggest from Samsung coming in at 6.3 inches when they both came out. The Samsung screen is uh, 2K, so it's 1440 by 2960 at 521 pixels per inch and the iPhone 7 Plus comes in at uh, 1080 by 1920 so full 1080p um, with 401 pixels per inch. And you can see the graphics being tested here. If you're looking at both, both screens actually look pretty clear with Apple's retina display being slightly darker. It looks like the iPhone has a slight lead over the Note 8 so far. As far as the CPU in these phones, um, Apple, the iPhone 7 Plus has a quad core 2.34 gigahertz and the Note 8 has an octa core, so four cores at 2.35 gigahertz and four cores at 1.9 gigahertz. As you can see, the iPhone has pulled further into the lead. And these years are about a year apart. The iPhone 7 Plus came out in September of 2016 and the Note 8 was released in August of 2017. So it's incredible that the iPhone has such a lead over the Note 8 at this point. And the GPUs that were just tested in the iPhone 7 Plus, it's a Power VR Series 7 XT Plus, 6 core graphics, and in the Note 8, it's an Adreno 540. Also, note, uh, also worth mentioning, the Note 8 does have a removable memory card slot, whereas the iPhone, of course, does not. So you can uh, put up to 256 gigabytes of memory. Additionally, on top of the 64 gigs uh, the Note 8 has, and then of course the iPhone was offered in 32, 128, and 256 gigabytes. Considering the fact that the iPhone has only three gigabytes of RAM, Apple did a great job on the way that it uses it. I mean, it's just flying by the Note 8, even though it has six gigabytes of RAM. Something else worth note is that the iPhone has a 2900 milliamp battery whereas the Note 8 has a 3300 milliamp battery. Um, so when you're talking about talk time, you get up to 22 hours on 3G for the Note 8, up to 21 hours on 3G with the iPhone. 153,000.
37% on the Note 8. And the Note 8 finally finishes. So even though it took longer, scores don't lie. 153,000, 176,000. 3D, 53,000, 74,000. UX, 52,000, 55,000. That was pretty close. CPU, 35,000 to 37,000. Again, really close. RAM, the iPhone, 11,000 to 9,000 on the Samsung. So it came down to the video graphics and uh, the Note 8 stays the champ.